Connection with the inspirational word for you. This is the Bishop's Connection to the Facebook family and friends. Oh, woo. This is the Bishop's Connection. Good day to my woo, Facebook, and YouTube family. Welcome to Bishop's Connection. Today, I'm continuing my series entitled, The Choice is Yours. This is part two of our teaching. Our text scripture is found in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19, and verse 20 of the modern English version. And the word of the Lord reads, I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that I have set before you life and death blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live, that you may love the Lord your God, and that you may obey his voice, and that you may cling to him. For he is your life and the length of your days, and that you may dwell in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them. You see, believing you receive your answer affects three realms of your being, spirit, soul, and body. You see, you are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body. Your spirit man believes the word and receive it. Faith comes out of your spirit, not your mind, through hearing, listen, the word. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You see, the word of God hidden in your heart forms a firm foundation against which the storms of life have no power. Matthew chapter seven, verse 24 through verse 27. Listen to what Jesus said concerning the stabilizing authority of the word. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be lacking unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. You see, in these verses, it wasn't the storm that made the man strong, Jesus said, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on a rock. Verse 24. You see, your mind is part of your soul. The makeup of your soul is the mind, will, emotion, intellect, and imagination. The mind is the battlefield where the devil shows you that it's not going to work this time. He tells you things like this. You'll never make it. There's no way out. You can't do it. You're too weak. They can do it because they're stronger than you are. You don't have the background they have. You're the wrong color. You don't have enough education. Maybe there's something wrong with your brain. 
there's something wrong with your back or some, or some other uh, physical disability or ailment in your body. He tells you the same lies he tells everyone. You see, if you receive his lies and meditate or think on them, which is called worry, eventually you will speak of things that are not as though they were. As you get into action and speak your faith in the negative, something happens in the spirit world. You see, where we're acting on becomes doubt and unbelief. Jesus said in Matthew's gospel, chapter 12, verse 37, for by your words, you will be justified. And by your words, you will be condemned. You see, this planet operates on a system of words. God created it with words and has made you in his image with the ability to speak and create your world with words of faith. You see, you're the deciding witness. Second Corinthians chapter one and verse 20 says, for all the promises of God in him are yes and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Faith-filled words dominate the laws of sin and death. God's word is always yes and amen. Choose and speak what God says. Listen, beloved, choose life. The choice is yours. Thank you for tuning in to the Bishop's Connection with your host, Bishop Dr. Henry R. Williams. Now, remember to do three things for me. I want you to like, comment, and share. That's what I need you to do for me. Let's pray and let's bless you before we dismiss this broadcast today. May the shalom of God be upon you and your family. Love, peace, and blessings. Remember to remain safe and know that Pastor Gwen and I love you immensely and are praying for you. Looking to see you next week, same place, same time. Until then, may the rest of your week be prosperous and filled with the Lord's favor and blessings. With the inspirational word for you. This is the Bishop's Connection to the Facebook family and friends. Oh, this is the Bishop's Connection.